Have you ever played Truth or Dare with friends and thought it was harmless fun? In the movie, Truth or Die, a simple game of Truth or Dare turns into a deadly game of survival. The movie begins with a group of young people at a party, including Chris and his girlfriend Gemma, Eleanor and her boyfriend Paul, and Luke. Felix, a geeky and socially awkward guy, arrives and becomes fixated on Gemma due to his crush on her. Luke gives him drugs, giving him the confidence to approach her. But Gemma rejects him. Meanwhile, Paul and Eleanor are hugging in a room, but just as Eleanor is about to give it to him, Paul collapses due to the effects of the drug. When they play a game of truth or dare, Felix chooses the truth and is asked who he would choose if he had a free ticket to hug any girl in the room all day. He hands Gemma the ticket, and Chris punches Felix in response. A month later, Chris, Luke, Eleanor, and Gemma are on their way to Felix's house for his birthday. They meet Felix's brother, Justin, and discover there is no party. Justin informs them that Felix is unable to attend due to issues with his departure to Chile. He provides them with wine and food, and when his friend inquires what he does, he informs them he is in the army and is on leave. Justin challenges everyone to a game of truth or dare. Eleanor is dared to kiss Gemma in front of everyone, which she does without hesitation. Justin then spins the bottle and chooses the truth himself, informing them that Felix is not in Chile, but has hanged himself in the cabin directly above them. Chris thinks Justin's words are a joke, while Eleanor bursts out laughing. Justin displays a postcard he discovered in Felix's pocket and inquires to know who sent it, but no one responds. Justin pulls out a gun and shoots Paul in the leg to scare everyone. He instructs Luke to arrange the chairs in a circle and tapes the hands of everyone who sits in the chair, emphasizing that if anyone admits to sending the postcard, the rest will be released, however, if no one confesses, the game of truth or dare will continue. Since no one admits it, Gemma has the first turn and chooses the truth. She admits that the postcard was sent by Chris, who initially refused to accept it. He is informed that the postcard was sent on September 7th from London, but he claims to have been in Spain for three weeks on that specific date. The game is then restarted with Chris having his turn. And he chooses Dare. Soon after, Justin returns from the back of the room and places something by Gemma's side. He then positions Gemma and inserts a long tube into her mouth with two water tubes, one with tap water and the other with battery acid. The challenge is that Chris must select one of the bottles. Chris refuses to vote and mocks Justin for being a crazy psychopath, but fortunately chooses regular tap water, the game continues, and this time Eleanor decides to tell the truth. Justin asks her to choose one of her three friends or herself to take on Justin's next challenge. Eleanor chooses Chris by force, and Justin reappears a short time later carrying the same bottles of tap water and battery acid. Chris, terrified, finally admits that he is the one who sent the postcard before leaving for Spain, and Eleanor is correct. However, Justin isn't interested in hearing any more excuses and rolls Chris's chair back to put the long tube into his mouth. Paul chooses the bottle on the left, but it contains battery acid, so Chris has to die in a pathetic state. While Justin is out, Gemma has used a saw to cut the tape, and Eleanor tells her to flee through the back window. She eventually makes it into the forest, and Justin is forced to leave the house in order to locate her. Gemma has made her way to Felix's residence, where she discovers Felix is still alive, lying on his bed, staring at the computer screen that displays CCTV footage from the cabin. Justin breaks her neck in front of Felix, and when he returns to the cabin, Eleanor fires a shot through the wooden pole, striking Justin in the shoulder. Eleanor reminds Justin that Felix's suicide attempt occurred the night before Justin returned home from Afghanistan and not the night after the party. She reveals Felix is more willing to die than his fear of being discovered by Justin. She also explains what she meant, after Chris smacked Felix in the face, Eleanor invited him into a room, enticed him to do gay things to the sleeping Paul, and recorded it as a blackmail tool against Felix's wealthy family. Eleanor leaves the cabin with a grenade in Felix's hand. Felix pulls the trigger, exploding both of them in the cabin. 
Eleanor and Paul are eventually able to leave the location, and with that, the film ends. Truth or Die explores the themes of obsession, consequences, power dynamics, and the dark side of human nature, providing a thought-provoking examination of these complex issues.